Unique stories that define our state's character. Here's Kevin Mackey with this week's Montana Moment. Brought to you by Montana Chevy Dealers. Good conversation, a good laugh, gathering together, all connect us to our friends and community. It keeps the blues away, makes the day brighter, and our Montana Moment from St. Regis, Kevin Mackey in Morning Coffee with George. Jeff Martin removes the covering from the little house yeah. that George, the hill miner bird, lives at the Talking Bird Saloon and Restaurant. Well, hi, George. Every morning at 5, George likes to stretch his wings outside his cage. Jeff feeds him breakfast. Chop him up some treats. He likes grapes. George is kind of quiet before getting his morning going, but it doesn't take long before he greets the day. It isn't called the Talking Bird for nothing. George introduces himself. George. That's right, George, the establishment's namesake. Hey, George. Hey, George. In the mornings, George go. likes to explore the bar. He gets a good view of the whole place on the light above the pool table. He peeks out the window, maybe looking for the cat outside that he likes to torment. Run back and forth in front of the cat and just drive it bananas because he knows it can't get to him. He's just a character. He's a naughty toddler. He's into everything when you have him out. Talking Bird manager Debbie Norris taught George his first words. Here, kitty, kitty. And that really was the first phrase that he ever said was, here, kitty, kitty, and meow. And it was like a proud mom moment, honestly. <laughs> After a while, George goes back into his house. Shine Ward manages the doghouse saloon across town. He comes to the talking bird to see George every morning. Hello, George. Hello, George. Does he know you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He hears me as soon as I come in. He's, he's comfortable with my voice, I guess, my whistle. I would nonstop whistle him. George is kind of vain. You are a handsome bird. Can you whistle Beethoven for me? George didn't feel like Beethoven today, but Shine got his favorite reward. Wow. Oh, I thank you for the kisses. That was a very good kiss. He mimics cell phone rings. He knows a few words not appropriate for TV. I'll do the word in the email. Morning. Morning coffee at the Talking Bird. The crew and friends enjoy a break with George. Good morning, George. This isn't the first minor bird at the bar. Rick Jasper has owned the bar and restaurant for more than 60 years. When his dad signed for him, he was only 20. When we bought it, I wasn't old enough to run. So a friend managed the St. Regis bar until he turned 21. Rick's been here ever since. There was a bird here when we bought the bar. A minor bird named George. Since 1962, there have been many minor birds, male or female, all named George. It changed the name from the St. Regis Bar to the Talking Bird Saloon. Paula Roos found this newest George. It wasn't easy. The birds are native to South Asia and Hello, Southeast George. Asia. This George Hi, came George. from New York. He was just a baby at the time, so he's special to her. He's special to me, but he's not my bird. You know, he belongs to everybody that comes into the bar. In the early days, the talking bird attracted a lot of customers who worked in the timber industry especially. For many, the bar and George became the go-to spot after work. They'd work at the sawmill and, and two shifts. They'd work until maybe 1 o'clock at night and then come down to the bar after 1, one o'clock. Everybody came to hear the talking bird. Come in and see how George was doing. George brings tourists off Interstate 90 on their way to or from Spokane or Missoula or points west or east. Every local resident knows George. He's really cool. He's really talkative. And almost every time we're here, I hear him in the back. And sometimes he sounds like a dude talking. Kids, accompanied by an adult, are allowed to visit George. George and his predecessors have captivated visitors for so many years that parents and grandparents who came to see George when they were kids are now bringing their own kids and grandkids to see St. Regis's famous ambassador. People coming to St. Regis, he's a great attraction. Hey, George. Hey, George. Now that is one handsome bird. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana. If you want to watch this story again or any of our Montana moments, go to NBCMontana.com slash Montana moments.
These unique stories about the Treasure State, its history, and its great people are now the Montana Moment podcast. Look for new episodes every week. If you have a story idea, let us know. Until next time, be safe, stay healthy, and keep making Montana Moments.